Okay, so we were trying to fix the, the mirror. <laughs> Okay, so we're investigating the airbag fault. Craig thinks that it might be one of the wires that we unplugged when we took the seat out. So he's playing around under there. Do you want to say hi, Craig? Hi! <laughs> um, you found it. I can't find where the unplugged one is. I just take it, I took it out. I took it out to try and re-put it back in. Um, the oh. last time we were doing this, we had the seat up in the air because we undone those two bolts in the front. Yep. I don't know if it's worth doing that again. <laughs> you look very comfortable though. It's because I've got this kid, I've got the handbrake lodged into my abdomen. <laughs> <laughs> Like roll into your car and cut it. It's really like wedged in. That doesn't look comfortable. From this angle, it looks like it's going. I think I've just perforated my freaking intestines. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to complain about it. <laughs> trying to look like I had that thing. I was like, what? <laughs> the microphone is broken. Oh shit. <laughs> Should we take the seat out? Would it be easier working from outside here where I am? Uh, no. You might be able to get a bit lower if you sit on the floor. I think you need to get your head on the floor. But it's wet. Why is it wet? because the door seals ain't working. Oh yeah, so that's another issue we need to fix. It seems to be a leak in the car somewhere because it keeps condensating. And there's loads of water in the boot as well, as well as the engine bay, which you saw earlier. This is basically a bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't know, I recognize that. Where's that from? I don't know most undignified position I've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just take the bolts off and lift the seat back? It, does, it only takes two seconds to take those bolts off. I said okay. Oh, did you? Okay. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Right, I'll get the ratchet. Are they, are they, is it in the boot? Yeah. Put that in there. <sighs> I keep we'll figure out all that washes for at some point. Here you go. You know when you said you um, used the brush on this? Oh, it was deep cleaning it. Did you do that over here? I didn't really do it properly because I didn't really know what I was looking at. To me, it looks clean. Or over here? No. I just kind of twiddled it around here a little bit and went, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it looked clean to me. <laughs> Your idea of clean and my idea of clean are <laughs> two very different things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so we've got the seat up. We've unbolted the front. Craig's now going to try and connect the yellow clips together, which are part of the airbag system. Because the side airbags are in the side part of that seat. Okay. Done it? Yeah. Oh, ow! My hand! Where's all oh, the keys in the ignition? Right, let's see if it comes up. Yeah, so it wasn't that clip. There we go. So I slide in. So I just put the bolts on. See, you'd be lost without me. I would, man. you are quite right. You don't know what you're doing. That's the whole point of this project. We don't know what we're doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know a little bit more than you. <laughs> on this, yes. And you know why that is? 
Because you've done the seat last time. <laughs> How close are you to my face? Quite close. Okay, so we were trying to fix the, <laughs> the mirror <laughs> and we took the ball out and then we couldn't get it back on. And then I pushed it and a lot of managed to get it back on, but in the process I've broken the rest of it. It's not broken, it's just apart. It, it all came off and now we can't. We're trying to get this clip off now, but we can't figure out how that comes off. Um, so yeah, we've, I mean, look I, look, I achieved what we were trying to do. I got the ball joint back in there. We did that. It's kind of like a pointless exercise because we want to take that mirror off. <laughs> but we wanted to do it in a better way than... Than ripping all the whole thing off. Yes. <laughs> no, we don't know how to get it back on. <laughs> yeah. Um, so... Because you have got a replacement part which Craig bought. Yeah, I bought a replacement part. It's not an auto dimming mirror. Because um, I wanted to go a bit more simplistic, but... If I'm you honest. just devalued the car. Why did you not go and get an also dimmer one? How can we devalue this further? Because this car's a piece of crap. Like, how are we going to devalue this car <laughs> further? <laughs> You've got well, a bag full. You've got basically got an Olympic swimming pool in here. Yeah, it's right. really wet down there. Um, really wet. The mirror is. Yeah. That look. That that mirror is like. We've also bought a replacement mirror for this side one because the cover on that is cracked, but the colour's different. The blue paint is slightly lighter than the rest of the car. Yeah. So it doesn't quite match. We're going to have to respray that. Yeah. Um, but we think, yeah, it's true. We have to respray the bumper, so we may as well try and respray the cover as well. Um, as well as right. try and reseal the car as well somehow. So we're going to try and figure out how to either take this clip off or put this mirror back together so that it sits up it's back there again see in a bit so now we've got a mirror that is legal <laughs> that we can actually see out the back as before where's the old one so there's well, the old one that's all we could see was this gooey brown coffee stained mess you can see but it is difficult yeah it's like the top, you see that top little slither. You can see what's going on there. You can see through <laughs> this bit as well, but yeah. it's just... But at least this one is a completely different shape. Yeah. It actually looks nicer, I think. It's more area, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a bigger mirror. Right, so that's at least Ooh, one MIT well problem sorted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this video hasn't started so well because Matt has just shoved the, the tripod through the vent. I would show you, but I don't want to ruin the position I've now got it in. It took me a while to get it there. The poor car. Tell you what, we'll take a photo. And I'll put the photo in the video. So you can see what we've done. Right, anyway. This so, video. Yeah, so uh, this video we changed the battery. Uh, we've changed yeah. the mirror. Uh, we could not find where this fault was or... We've got an airbag fault. Every time we start a car it comes up with a sign saying airbag fault and a little symbol comes up. Um, yeah, we, we've tried to find what it could be but we don't really know. Yeah. We, so we might have to take it to someone. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to take it to a professional because we don't have the expertise to do this in the time that we have left to get to pass this MOT. Um, which is 10 days away, but in real time, that's about two days that we've got available. Yeah, it's basically next weekend. Yeah, um, because we um, both work full-time jobs and, well, that works for himself, but uh, he's busy all the time and I'm busy during the week as well. So, um, yeah, at least we got the battery issue sorted. It seems to be working fine. Well, I say that we got it sorted. We don't actually know if it's sorted. Yeah, we've, sorted. I mean, it started straight away both times we've used it since but we need to leave it for a few days but hopefully it'll be okay. I think it's class because it's back breaking to try and push this car. Y yeah for me you're always in the bloody driver's seat. I pushed it today. Two seconds and you gave up. You couldn't get it off the line. I got it off the line it just started rolling back. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah, if you like this video, uh, drop a like and consider subscribing. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.